Oh, hi there. Tell you what, I'm, I've been looking for answers to some questions I've got, and uh, I run into a lot of things what I'm going to go better than a lack of answers called secrets. And I think that you can help us fill in the blanks. A lot of these things that we're, we have, uh, you have some questions about them. I have some questions about them. Several buildings that you know might know something about, but there's somebody somewhere who's got all the answers. We just need to get them. And here's more of the story. And uh, we hope that you can help. Stay tuned. Chuck, I'll tell you what, this is a great idea. I'll tell you what, the, find the secrets that are afforded us and are held into all these buildings that, that we see in Fountain Inn every day and we go through and take a look at them. They hold uh, deer secrets and everybody rides by them and we don't really know, but I, um, tell us a little bit about how this project came about. Uh, Mayor, some of our board members uh, came up with this idea. Ron Urso took these fine photos of the different buildings on Main Street and we have uh, put a little write-up about what we know and and we have added pages to them that people can add their thoughts. So we want people to come in and write down what they know about these buildings. I think you call this the secrets of these buildings. Well, we all look at them, but I know something about this building, so let's see. What I would just come in and I would take this and I would pick it up and and there's a place in here for me to write. So uh, I would go back here. That one's right here. You would write on this page. Write right on this page. There's yes. another page in there. Anyway, let's just. I just it. know that this used to be at one time was a theater, and also it also had another uh, life as an auto parts repair store, mainly tires and wheels and things like that. Uh, brakes, I guess they had some stuff, but I don't know. There's some other stuff that probably used to go on here, folks. And you can help us with those secrets. Let's, let's see uh, another building. Oh, a lot of people go to this one. They like to go to J. Peters to eat. And someone has said that this used to be Ed Thaxon's Ace Hardware, Bruce Farrell's Quality Builder Supply, Stewart and Taylor Hardware, and an auto parts store. But then someone came in and said, I don't think so. You're in error. This was a dime store when I was little. I bought my first bike there. And Ed Thaxon and Bruce Farrell were next in the next building down where I declare an end of an is. So we can get mixed up in history if we're not sure. So you probably have know some more secrets about your, what used to be in J. Peter's store. Tell us about another one maybe that they would like to come in and talk to us about. Uh, well, many people my age remember this as uh, Albertson's Drugstore. And however, before that, it was the uh, Kellett Motor Company, uh, I've been told. So, and there's probably some things we need to know more about the Kellett I'm, Motor Company. I Albertson's know another Drugstore. secret about, I'm told about this. Now, I'm not actually sure about whether this one is factual, but I had a, a young lady, I think she's about 97 and now, um, but she said there was once a dentist who had an office upstairs and he would pull out the teeth and throw them out in this, the old yard out here. He would throw them right out the side and pitch them out in the road out there. So um, when, we were, too. when we were digging it up, I asked them if they um, found any teeth out there. They didn't find any, but there's some secrets. We need those secrets. If you've got something that you know about a building, or if you know you've got a grandmother, I believe we could take other people, right, That's and bring them in. Can they take the books out? We leave them in this room. Uh, however, you will copy a page out or whatever if you want it. You can come and work within this room to keep our books in uh, and order. And if, if you want to write them down for somebody else to bring in, bring us the news, bring us uh, whatever information you have, and help us get the real information so we can continue to put the correct history together for Fountain Inn. Uh, all these buildings. And Mayor, one other idea, if you have an idea for another building that we don't have here, or a person, or anything that we'd like to do research on, 
feel free to come in and we'll set up a book and see what kind of research somebody can bring to us. We've got some others over here. We'll take a look and see if we can get uh, some of these that we don't have. This is the, the quick stop downtown. Um, and what used to be on that corner? I know right behind it was the jail cell. I didn't ever spend time there, but uh, you, you've been here a long time. I believe you knew about that. <laughs> uh, but there's some information about what used to be on this corner. Come help us out in the city of Fountain Inn in your very own museum. Dr. Chuck, thank you so much for coming and being with us today. He is also the president of our museum, so come by and see him. Or if he's not here, you just say, I need to speak to Dr. Chuck, and he'll give you all the information there is. I'll give you a tour of our facility here. Thanks so much for being with us today. And don't forget, when people ask you where you're from, you say, I'm from Fountain Inn, the inn place to be.